What happened in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, March 14th wasn't unusual. A black lesbian leftist child of the favelas was gunned down in public, probably by an agent of the state. Favela families die every day in Brazil, grammed together in poorly constructed homes on never invested in streets. If the poverty doesn't get you, violence or depression just might. From the favelas on Rio's mountainsides, you can actually see the multi-million dollar beachfronts down below. Poverty, and depression, and violence claim favela people all the time. And so, increasingly, do cops. In 2017, police killed over a thousand people just in Rio alone. The poorer you are, the more danger you're in. In the last few years, the Brazilian establishment has been making all sorts of choices to invest in real estate, Olympics, corporate tax breaks, but not education, not health care, not public service. To deal with the unrest, the current government's invested in repression. Costly drones, Israeli military police trainers, the military itself. Now soldiers patrol the streets. Black people are killed with impunity. Women too. LGBT people? More LGBT people are murdered per year in Brazil than any place else on this earth. So, a black lesbian killed in Rio isn't generally a headline grabber. And this one was a leftist. Just hours before her death, Mariela Franco, a city council member, was at an event about the oppression of young black women. On her way home, a car pulled up next to hers. Someone fired nine shots into her car and drove off. Nothing was stolen. The bullets that struck Franco and her bodyguard, we now know, were army issued. What's unusual was that woman, a black lesbian child of the favelas, Franco had graduated college, actually medical school, in a country where black med students are virtually non-existent. She joined a party and gotten involved in left politics, even gotten ex elected herself when all sorts of people were giving up on democracy in Brazil. Even progressive politicians had gone along with austerity, lots of them. The last popularly elected government was ousted with a lot of help from American-inspired right-wing media and politicians and judges and corporations. Mariela Franco was an exception to all that. Exceptional, from what I can tell, in just about every respect. What else is exceptional? The response to her killing. Half a million marched in Rio the day after her assassination. Millions more have marched in Brazil and around the world since. It's hard to remember ever a time that so many have mourned and celebrated a black, lesbian, feminist, socialist, politician, ever, anywhere, in Paris, Madrid, New York, you name it, people have gathered in front of the embassies. I have, it's still happening. This is not usual. A black lesbian feminist who loved the wretched of the earth, as a friend of mine put it, she loved the people and the people are loving her back. Her courage has infected ours. Long may she and we keep it up. Thanks.